what happened today with uh, SCOTUS. So we will listen to that. And we're very excited about that. And Hori, Thank thanks for being uh, uh, being part of our show and and always All for uh, making it happen at the top want. of the hour. Mate, you, if it weren't for you, none of us could pee. Just remember that. It's really <laughs> Bye-bye, Hori. Bye. Thank, Thank you so Gloria. much. And thanks for keeping up the good fight. We appreciate it. Thank we you. return to The Frank Show. More fun here on Sirius XM Out Q. The Michelangelo Cinderella Show. The opponents of gay marriage have said over and over again, this is an anomaly, this is just a state. But when you have a quarter of the state and you have a third of the population able to take advantage of marriage equality, it's not an anomaly, it's not something temporary, it's not something small. It is a movement and it is growing. The Michelangelo Cinderella Show. Two East, 11 West on Sirius XM Al Q 109. A few months back, our neighbor's house was broken into. They took some cash, some jewelry, you know, stuff that can be replaced. We needed peace of mind, so we decided to get a security system. Mark's company uses Protection One, and they do home security, too. When we found out they are trusted by over 1 million customers with a 95% satisfaction rating, we knew Protection One was for us. But the best part? There's always a live person when you call Protection One. That's definite peace of mind. Act now to protect your family. Go to protectionone.com slash 99 to see how you can get security plus home automation for only $99. That's protectionone.com slash 99. Or call 855-294-3832 for details. That's 855-294-3832. This is a limited time offer, so call now. 855-294-3832. 855-294-3832. 294-3832. A degree from Indiana Wesleyan University can change your life. Just ask one of the 65,000 IWU graduates who have changed their lives. IWU offers more than 50 associate, bachelor's, and master's degree programs in a convenient, accelerated format. You can attend classes online or at a learning center near you. Tuition assistance and military discounts are available for those who qualify. Change your life with a degree from Indiana Wesleyan University. Call 1-800-234-5327 today or visit at IWUDegrees.com. We now return to the Frank DeCaro Show already in progress. Folks, I'd like to direct your attention now to this imposing erection on OutQ. <sighs> Frank DeCaro live in New York City. Doria Biddle is live in Los Angeles. You know what would be interesting to What know? would be interesting? When you think of the states that have marriage equality now, they're 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 significant states with with big populations. Yes. Therefore, what percentage of U.S. citizens who who live in in the U.S. what percentage are in are now in states with marriage equality? I know that more states ha don't recognize gay marriage than do, but in terms of people. When you think California, New York, you know, these are big, dense, heavily populated states. I mean, it, it, it must be it must be significant. Yeah, I, I remember. I mean, there are other heavily populated states that that don't recognize it or and or who actively forbid it. But still, I mean, it, it's it's significant. I'd love to know that. I remember reading that somewhere, believe it or not. And, and it was. It's kind of, it was an interesting thing because it was bigger. And you bigger. couldn't include California before. No, it was bigger than you would imagine in terms of numbers. You know, it's like it's it's like you know like how New Jersey's a teeny little state, but there's so many people. You know, so yeah. when you look at it, the number of electoral college votes, that whole thing, it's in that those kinds of percentages. Places that are are densely populated ha account for a lot of the states in which you can get mar gays can get married. So yes. I so the number I think is more impressive than just the what is it thirteen that is it thirteen states allow it now is that what what it's twelve or thirteen oh 13, yeah well it, with yeah I think it was twelve before so yeah now California's yeah, but back it's like, in the yeah but it's like New York column. is densely populated California is densely populated Massachusetts is densely populated so it's you know it's an interesting Iowa however thing. not not but they're very great but we love them and they led the way. They were just very groovy. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's it's the more, I mean, obviously this isn't like, everything's fabulous from here on out. 
No, of course not. That's not what anyone is saying. But um, but the rulings are, are certainly in, in favor of change and growth and moving into a direction of equality for for all. And, and that's a very exciting thing. But, you know, to them, people will need their minds changed. And, uh, and, and you know, that will, uh, you know, that will happen over time. But the fight uh, continues and, and we'll have to uh, do it. But it's nice. But on a day like this where the vi there are victories, um, it's great. And will Pride be amazing this weekend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be real exciting to be uh, at a Pride uh, on Super Pride Sunday. And speaking of which, you can hear Super Pride Sunday live here on OutQ beginning at noon with Larry Flick. So you can hear that. They're going to be uh, a groovy uh, music and also pe speakers from the New York City Pride Rally. So you can listen to that here on OutQ. Don in Freeport, you're on The Frank Show. Uh, yeah, you just asked about the percentage of overall population that would be, that recognize uh, same sex marriage. Yeah, what's, marriage. do you yeah, know the be, number and where, and where I this? A, well, I did a spreadsheet about two weeks ago and factored in if Prop 8 was or wasn't. And then there was, I think Iowa was the next state to come on, maybe. And it was about 32%. 30, it was about 32%? Less than I, mean, I thought it would be, but still. Population, yeah. So that's a third, a good third almost. Yeah, that's it's yeah. pretty groovy. Um, I, I'm very pleased to to, to hear that, and and I was keep uh, you know. You might want to fact check it. I mean, this I will, but no, but that was I was going to say I had remember reading and the number that came to mind was 27. But so 20, yeah. you know, 27 and 32 in terms of percentages pretty is pretty, pretty darn close. close. Yeah. 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 So Don, thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it. And thanks for listening to us. You guys, uh, if you want to pipe up, today is one of the well, it's always time to do it, but today is particularly one of the days to do it at eight six. Six three zero five six eight eight seven. We're very uh, heartened by uh, the the Supreme Court decision, and uh, uh, regarding striking down DOMA, and uh, and of course saying there was no standing for for the Prop A. But uh, uh, you know certainly um, when you hear uh, the kind of uh, you know vitriol that someone like Antonin Scalia was was including in his dissent, you're just like oh yeah, just don't ever think that that uh, that the fight is He's over. He's a darn so, uh, uh, Governor yeah. Pat Quinn of Illinois, I, I saw. Earlier earlier today tweeted that he is hoping that the state of Illinois is going to join the uh, progressive states that uh, have recognized same-sex marriage. So uh, there's another densely populated state that will, uh, will, we're hoping, join the rest of us. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I, it's, it's, I really think that, that change is going to occur fairly quickly. In, at this point, once once the dominoes start falling, it's it it just happens, and uh, and because there's no valid argument against it, you know, it more and more the bigots are are really being exposed for being as as ignorant and narrow-minded as they are because their their arguments are they don't hold any water whatsoever. Um, I'm looking at, uh, at it's, there's so much, uh, you know, st you know, oh, there's so many stories obviously here that, that if you look it up, you just, you're inundated with a number of choices. But uh, one of the, the, of course, this was not what I was looking for, but I came up to it and I thought this was kind of sweet. Edith Windsor, of course, who was really at, uh, at the, the center of, of so much of the, of change, the, Doma, of the Doma case. case. Yeah. Um, she said that uh, she she felt that uh, the spirit of her late wife. She said, "My late wife, Thea Spire, was and is the love of my life." And she said, uh, "She said although we couldn't live openly for much of our relationship, we came engaged in 1967 with a circular diamond brooch that symbolized the rings we weren't able to wear on our fingers, and we stayed engaged for the next 40 years, caring for each other, sharing all the joys and sorrows that came our way." Well, she went on. To, she goes on to say that she. Um, she she felt that uh, the spirit of her her late wife was there uh, in the courtroom, and uh, and I thought that was really kind of a, a, a sweet thing. So uh, anyway, God love it. You know, get, just start decide. You know which photo you want on your stamp. Okay, because that's the thing. Because that may not may not be that soon, but you know what? You'll get a stamp. Okay, there, there'll be a Harvey Milk stamp. There, you know, there'll be an Edith Windsor stamp. They'll be they'll be there. You know, and uh, maybe that photo of the two of them together that CNN keeps showing, that gorgeous photo, maybe go with that. But uh, it'll happen. Uh, let's go to uh, Ben in St. Louis. You're on The Frank Show. Hi, Doria. I heard what you were asking about the, the significant number of population now in, in gay rights state or in uh, marriage equality states. 
Yes. And CNN.com had that um, this morning, said now California went from 18% of the population to 30%. Okay. We have to okay. Yeah. Right New, York so Times, so New York Times said 30% too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, that, that's significant. It's not as, as much as I, I thought or would like, but especially if it, Illinois joins us, then then that's fabulous. And I, I really do think it's going to, it's really going to start happening quickly now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think so too. Okay, ben, so. Yeah, say, thank you. I was so pleased that you're listening to us. We're, we're glad that you're out there. Congratulations uh, to everyone. So uh, it's interesting. So see, there's a, a story uh, that came out and it was from a you know, uh, earlier this month, but but uh, apparently a majority of Americans, uh, including a majority of same-sex marriage opponents, uh, you are using the word inevitable in terms of gays and lesbians being able to eventually marry, according to uh, the most recent survey. Okay, even people who are opposed to it, are like, oh yeah, it'll happen. So, yeah, yeah, it's a when, not an if. We all know that, but it's just that the problem. The problem is, how do you not get tired? That's the problem. Being just like, oh, let's come on, move it along, people. Okay, I always you love. Know, there are times in your life when when you you have a really strong feeling about something, and you know you're you, it's not you're not right. You you're being petty, but for some reason you just can't help yourself. And that's not a good feeling, even though you feel very strongly about it. Those petty feelings that are based on irrationality are not a good feeling. Yeah. And and so these people who, who are so against gay marriage, they're not it's it's not even just that they're that they lost uh, in in terms of today's rulings and that they are on the losing side of history. But it's just not a good feeling. It's petty, it's hateful, and it feels terrible. And if they would just let go of it, they would feel so much better. Yeah, no, it's just, it's, and I don't really, when you're all consumed, if you're all consumed with hate, if that's your raison d'etre, is, is being consumed with hate, what the hell kind of life is that? There's so much, you know, we look back and we, we've talked about so many things. When we looked at how much uh, money was was poured into, uh, you know, uh, into Prop 8 and, and, and everything try, and to, on both sides, but mostly in terms of making sure gays couldn't have equality. What if you fed people with that? OK, what if you built houses for the homeless with that money? Well, all those millions of dollars, what if you used it for good? You know, it's like you're you're like the cartoon villain. You know, you're doing. You might as well just have the the mustache. Your mustache. Yeah, it's like you're. That's that's who you decided to be, if you know when you when you fund hate. You know, if you if you stand by that, it's like what do you really want to be that person? And what what is so lacking in your life, that other people threaten you so very much? You know that 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 someone else's happiness ruins it for you. What kind of person are you? It's terrible, and you know, and I hope people will ask themselves that question, and just wonder. And it's just, and if you can't get to the place where you're, you know, if you can't help, get out of the way at least, okay? Because it's like just cover your head and get out of the way. Because it's like if you're not happy, that's what it goes. But there's there's nothing, you know. You can make it as difficult as possible, but that's the way it goes. The world changes, people's minds are expanded, new things happen. It's a brighter day, you know. But it ends up being a brighter day for everybody. That's the thing. People say, oh, it's such a great day for gays and lesbians. It's a great day for everybody. You know that? Because good. Because it, it, the Supreme Court did something very right. And, and uh, you know, and was looking out for kind of, they were affirming, and it's it's so rah-rah maybe to say this, but they were affirming what it's about to be an American. That's what we stand for. That's what this country is about. It's like, that's what we do. We, say we get like, away from that a lot lately. I mean, uh, there, are, there are a lot of things that people are, have been up in arms about that really shouldn't be what America is about. But this is, this ultimately, if you are an American and you do believe in it, then, then this should be considered a victory. We, we, this country is supposed to be about freedom, and and, and good things, and and re freedom from religious persecution. And and it's about you're invited to the party too. We're all there's a place at the table for everyone, you know. And and that that's what Amer that's the American story. So there's room for everybody. It's like we've got you know we have enough. We'll share it with you. And, now, Linda yeah. Carter tweeted uh, uh, approval that the Supreme Court struck down Doma. She was, she was happy about that. 
Linda Carter. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Well, but we're not surprised. Where are you, red, white, yeah. and blue? <laughs> I do. I love that woman. So it's true, but I, I think uh, you know it'll it'll certainly, um, you know, it'll it'll be interesting. You know, it'll, there's a lot for us to look out, you know, and watch and, and observe and stuff. And we can celebrate and we'll do our thing, but we'll also, you know, have to keep the the, uh, you know, the the fight going. So uh, the good fight going. Uh, William Shatner, Captain Kirk, very pleased about the Supreme Court's rulings today on DOMA and gay marriage in California. Yeah. Captain, well, he's Canadian, so of course he's happy about this. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. You know, I mean, all the things we say about America, it's really Canada that's <laughs> much more about freedom and and uh, that sort of thing. We, we've gotten so, we're so Puritan, but uh, Canada and Canadians, we love you. We wish we were you. So uh, anyway, it's fun to see people reacting, how, whether they're being, you know, whether they're being uh, uh, earnest about it or, or, or flippant, but uh, everybody's happy. Neil Patrick Harris tweeted, Domo, it just lost oh, Mr. Roboto. Uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who we love on Modern Family, said, remember the old days when Domo was around and gay people couldn't get married in California? Crazy, right? Uh, so there's that. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, and Tegan and Sarah tweeted, I'm definitely going to need a second job to pay for all the weddings I just got invited to. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that, isn't there? Piers Morgan said, RIP bigotry. Go, Piers Morgan. So Alec Mava said, Ding Dong Doma's dead. That's good. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what else is here. Let's see. Cheyenne Jackson tweeted, Doma's ruling is historic, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, John Stamos said lovely things. Where is he? What a momentous day. All Americans are equal no matter who you love. That's good. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. George Decay, our buddy who we love so much. Today marks a watershed moment in history and a tremendous victory for the principle of equality. And it goes on from there. Justin Vivian Bond said, what a joyous day for all of us. I'm so happy for all of my friends in California who waited so long to get married. So uh, there's that. And love triumphs hate. That was what someone said. So it's going on. Ellen DeGeneres, I couldn't see who it was. Ellen DeGeneres said, it's a supremely wonderful day for equality. Prop 8 is over, and so is DOMA. Congratulations, everyone. And I mean everyone. That's from Ellen DeGeneres. I tweeted. Should we go to the phone? Sure. I tweeted, where are my benefits at? That's what I tweeted. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> where are my benefits at? Wes in Columbus, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank. This is my first uh, phone call to you guys. I'm so, I'm so excited. My, my partner, Steve Gluzmer, and I got married. In, uh, we're from Columbus, Ohio. We got married in Staten Island uh, on Friday, surrounded by loving family. And the timing is just incredible. It was also during Columbus Gay Pride. So uh, this is just the icing on the cake. I am extremely, we're both, Steve and I are both extremely jubilant. And well, you should be, and congratulations. And where'd you register? Well, we sorry. Where'd you register for for oh, gifts? Frank. Yes. Oh, we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> well, you didn't. <laughs> oh my. We've been yes. together thirty-one years. We have so much crap. We have to get rid of. We're going to be moving. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Wes. Somebody get Wes. It. Go then. Go yeah, expensive. The way, That's yeah. the go expensive. We'll That's the, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere nice. Love yes. you yes. more than Frank's friends love him. I can tell you, Wes. Uh, no, no, that, not if they don't buy you presents. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just the love and support of friends and family are enough. And and the Supreme Court. This is the greatest gift of all. Is uh, is the Supreme Court ruling today? I agree with you, but just after Frank. that is a really good gift card from Crate and Barrel. Okay, like a good two hundred and fifty, three hundred bucks at Crate and Barrel. Right after the Supreme Court decision, that Crate and Barrel gift card is really good. I'll tell you. Hold out for that dollar. Right. Dale in Canada, you're on the Frank Show. Is this calls for Doria. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Dale. I'll be quiet. Don't worry. <laughs> want to thank you for the comment about Canada. I mean it. We, we're, we're the loud, uh, brassy sibling or, you know, neighbor to the south. But, you know, all the things that we talk about, you guys really are. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got your rights. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. So basically what we're saying is Doria is Canada and I'm America. <laughs> I think that's that's what it comes down to. Yeah, it's sort of like, oh, God, America's here. Oh, great. Oh, well, he means well. Yeah, they just quietly make it happen up there. Yeah, so that's that's we're like, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Well, see, the, I'm telling you, they're the you and, and I'm the me. And when we the us, and I'm just They're happy. They're also funnier, too. Yeah, well, there you have it. I've rest my case. You're listening to The Frank Show on Sirius XM. We're still taking your calls, of course, all day. 866-305-6887. Do call.
complete coverage of the NBA draft is on Sirius XM. Between snack period and lunch. See you around, fatso. Chew the fat with Frank DeCaro at 866-305-OUT-Q. Well, I'll tell you, I was just looking. Um, my guess is, if it's if it's not already sold out, this is going to be a hot ticket here in New York. Um, Larry Kramer talking to Tony Kushner. Okay, Larry Kramer, uh, 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 you know, of course, brilliant playwright, the, the, the and activist. Tony Kushner, brilliant playwright, activist. They're going to be talking together at the New York Historical Society uh, this evening. So that ought to be. A hot time in the old town tonight if you're here. So it should be groovy. We're taking your calls at 866-305-6887. And oh, what a super pride Sunday it's going to be. Let's go to Ryan and Philly. You're on the Frank Show. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, two things. Did you what's hear? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I did. I, yeah, I'm calling about the news of the day. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm oh, well, you're breaking what? up. Hold on a second. Go near the window and don't move. Go ahead. Can you hear, can you hear me now? Better. Yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, I must have had my hand on the wrong part of the iPhone. But, um, mm-hmm. right. so I'm very happy that everything happened. And I'm single, but it leaves me, it opens a window of, you know, now I can really find a husband and it can really mean something. Exactly. More than just, oh, we'll, we'll get domestic partnership or whatever. You know, of course, living in Pennsylvania, I can't do that, but I can go to New York, I can go to Maryland or anything like that, and I'll be good. Right. And, but, it, yeah, and it will. Around, yeah, we're, City of brotherly love. It'll happen. Yeah, it, exactly. And I, I, Philadelphia has a lot of laws protecting gay people and all that stuff. They just passed one a couple months ago. So it's all good. So, but, uh, you know, in short, it, it's going to come in time. But, yeah, I'm very happy about what the country is now recognized. I hear you. Ryan, thank you so much for your call, and, and uh, definitely uh, uh, good for you. I'm very uh, I'm excited about that, and I'm excited for all of us. I think it's it's going to so be fun. Gonna be N- yeah, poor Greg's going to pee. I feel so bad. <laughs> He's excited. I'm very excited. Mm, so, anyway, so tell, they knew they were going to have this, uh, this event in, uh, you know, uh, in L.A., uh, in West Hollywood, yeah. yeah, they 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 announced yesterday that they would be denounced uh, announcing the the marriage decisions today. So the city of West Hollywood put into effect a plan to shut down the street. They're probably putting up stages there right now, and we will probably have to listen to a whole bunch of blowhards yammering away. But uh, but uh, ultimately, it, it's going to be a party in the streets of West Hollywood because so. it's. They're shutting down San Vicente until 11 p.m., so it's it's going to be fun. I can't wait. That's I'll cool. be there. And I think come and say I think, hi if, uh, you're, if you're there. Yeah, and I think Pride Weekend here and elsewhere is going to be really terrific. Pride? It's, so it's Pride. Pride's over. It was weeks ago, Frank. So it's no. That's just in L.A. That's not. We have it uh, in we, lots of cities. I know, and states, but it's well. They don't the call country. it Super Pride Sunday for nothing, Doria. I don't know who calls it that, but anyway. But they do. But that's, New Yorkers. We're gonna, New Yorkers. Are we call it that. You know how that goes, Doria. That's the way it goes. But what if now? I'm. I'm but I'm a, a gleeful uh, bi coastal member. Martha Stewart the, tweeted, uh, "Looking forward to talking to you live today at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Let's talk gardening, cooking, and decor." <laughs> yeah, let's do that, shall we? Call her and ask her if uh, about planning your gay wedding. Eight six 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 seven five six 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 seven six five. Yeah, do that. That's call a good her. idea. Call her and ask. Yeah, her. I'm having a big Martha. gay wedding. So, <laughs> call Martha and ask her about yeah. your gay wedding. Right. Oh, it's Liza. Oh, it's Liza. Oh, it doesn't get any gayer. This here's Liza singing single ladies. <laughs> this is for all our GLBTQA. Uh, everybody, it's this for everybody here on Sirius XM Out The news is next. Latest headlines from the Sirius XM Out news desk. One of LGBT America's greatest victories. I'm Steve Newman. Revelers celebrated the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on same sex marriage at New York City's best known gay bar. Cheers erupted at the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village on Wednesday when the court ruled that legally married same-sex couples should get the same federal benefits as straight couples. This pair grew emotional when they learned the news. I'll cry. You go ahead. That's exactly what he said. He said, I feel like I'm going to cry. And he's about to cry right now. It's so sweet. Um, we just celebrated our third year wedding anniversary uh, last week. So it's a really special moment for us to be here today together to, to hear this. So I'm taking the day off of work. The court also cleared the way for same-sex marriage in California by ruling against defenders of a gay marriage ban there. Patrons at the Stonewall are credited with sparking the gay rights movement when they fought back against a police raid 44 years ago tomorrow. 
As if to spoil the party, a Christian advocacy group says the Supreme Court's gay marriage rulings could lead to the legalization of polygamy. AP Religion Editor Steve Coleman reports. Ken Klukowski, director of the Family Research Council Center for Religious Liberty, says he doubts this will be the last redefinition of marriage. I don't understand why the majority's reasoning regarding gay marriage today would not also mean that polygamous families also have a right to demand full recognition. He notes that polygamy is legal in dozens of Muslim countries and that American polygamists have asked a federal court to find Utah's ban on multi-partner marriages unconstitutional. Steve Coleman, Washington. You're listening to Al-Q News. The plaintiff in a historic gay marriage case that the Supreme Court ruled on says she cried when she learned the ruling, which she says will affect generations to come. It makes me feel incredibly proud, okay, incredibly proud and humble, okay, wow, do I deserve this? Uh, I think some accident of history put me here. Edith Windsor said Wednesday's ruling made her feel joyous, just joyous. Windsor sued over the federal government's insistence in the Defense of Marriage Act that a marriage can only be defined as a relationship between a man and a woman. The rule left her owing $363,000 in taxes after spouse Thea Clara Spire died. The Supreme Court ruled in Windsor's favor. It struck down the provision of a law denying federal benefits to married gay couples. The 83-year-old Windsor entered the New York City News Conference with applause from supporters. And in other news, the U.S. Department of Education announced it will now include the sexual orientation of students when collecting students' wellness data nationwide. Officials say collecting the data will bring awareness of the issue of bullying against LGBT students to the national level. The San Francisco Examiner says the San Francisco Unified School District has been collecting this information for about five years. Students that identify as LGBT reportedly experience more bullying and a higher rate of attempted suicide than their straight counterparts. The gay pride flag continues to fly at the Richmond, California City Hall despite several employee complaints. The controversy began after a mass email was sent to the city's 900 employees last week. It announced the raising of the flag. Within a day, several employees hit reply to voice their opposition. They claim that the flag is offensive to Richmond's faith-based community and point out that flags were not displayed at other cultural celebrations. Council member Jim Roberts gave his response to KGO Television. No more controversy than Juneteenth or a Cinco de Mayo parade. Uh, you know, America's strong because of diversity, not, not in spite of it. Other members of the city council said the decision to fly the pride flag should have been discussed further. Listen for LGBT headlines at the top of the hour throughout the day here on AlQ Radio and anytime at AlQNews.com. I'm Steve Newman, AlQ News. You know trading, but do you know Nadex? There's a new, innovative way to trade, and right now, you're missing out. Get on board and join the Nadex movement. Step inside, doors closing. Use your insight to answer yes-no questions about the markets, like will the dollar trade higher after the FOMC statement is released? Turn slow markets into big opportunities with Nadex binary options. Your destination is approaching. It's time to get on board. Learn more about binary options at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Futures options and swaps trading. All trading may not be appropriate for all investors. Attend the bank foreclosure sale of Nashville, Tennessee's most coveted waterfront community and get your brand new luxury waterfront condo. Was $365,000. Now priced from only $169.9. Act now to save over 50% off your luxury waterfront residence. Featuring world-class amenities, access to the area's largest marina, and a prime location convenient to everything that Music City has to offer. All from just $169.9. Call 877-888-7582 or visit PraxtonCondoCN.com. An equal housing opportunity. Swish Embassy in New York City. Okay, I'll poke around the basement. To the La Brea Star Pits in Hollywood. Here's for the pokey. It's the Frank DeCaro Show, featuring Doria Biddle. Yes, thank you. You're live in New York City. Doria Biddle is live in Los Angeles on this very momentous day when the Supreme Court has struck down DOMA and said that the Prop 8 has uh, no standing. But I was saying, Doria, this is the song for Ryan and Philly that I was looking for, okay? this is, He said it's more important. To, this is for Ryan. Give a little listen here. He said he was going on a manhunt. I thought we needed to give him this, Doria. Well, man, now that you can get mad, yeah. <laughs> go out on a manhunt. He said he really, he feels better now. He's going to go on a manhunt. I said to go on a manhunt. 
Oh, oh, not that kind of manhunt. That's a whole other story. <laughs> I'm talking about a flash dance kind of manhunt, a fun kind. Uh, oh, that's the Aaron Hernandez. Isn't that terrible? You know, John Waters once said did you, that this ex patriot. Uh, yes. A football player. Yeah, yes. Uh, the, anyway, they, he was arrested, and Tied they showed in. footage of it. And Doria, you know, he's wearing those those uh, floppy cock pants, you know. And uh, and they it was. Uh, I, I thought, you know, John Waters is right. Nobody ever looks more glamorous than when they do under arrest. You really do. You know, people really do look glamorous under arrest. So I was looking at that. I was like, he's. Just, it's like, it's like, I hope you didn't, what was he up for? Was it a murder question? What was it? Uh, some, a man was murdered. They it found him about a mile from, from Aaron Hernandez's home in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. And uh, he had been out with him the night before. Meanwhile, Aaron Hernandez has, uh, he destroyed the recordings from his home security system and hired a cleaning crew to come to his home. This all happened late Sunday night, I believe, and he had the cleaning crew in his home Monday morning. And uh, and they found the body Monday morning, I believe. You know, if you can get, so, you can make a four. I think that the takeaway. He was on my fantasy football team oh last year. Well, see, you can, but the, the takeaway is you really can make a fortune learning how to remove uh, uh, blood from upholstery. You really can. There is it's a lot. There's, you can make a fortune with that if you really want to do that. How do you think I got my way through college? <laughs> <laughs> just some people just, strip. Uh, I uh, clean the blood. Drain, clean the blood out of. Yeah, no, that's a terrible thing. So anyway, uh, kitty cats. I hope uh, you're you're. I we can talk about lots of things today. But if you would like to talk, obviously talk about the Supreme Court ruling. I'm happy to turn the entire next hour over to that if you want to. I mean, we have to, of course we have oh tons God, of silly things we can day. we can uh, talk about. I mean, someone sitting on a pride flag now oh stop that cnn has to watch themselves they just right. had a flag hanging out of somebody's rear right <laughs> better that than a, oh, lolly, that's than a lollipop oh that's oh, just crazy so anyway someone complain someone was upset Doria, because i said this morning when i was almost i was worried it's gonna be late for work and i was like come on move it along wolf okay it's like i'm gonna be late for work move they were like why would you pick on just wolf blitzer and i was like He's old and he has most of his hair. How, you and know, that's, that's what you were enough. watching. And, it was what and I was Wolf watching. does tend to, when other people tap dance because they're killing time waiting to hear something, Wolf, it's abundantly clear that he's tap dancing. Yeah, like other people distract you and make it seem like they're giving you information. Wolf is like so clearly, frantically looking off to the side like, Still, do I have to still keep talking? Do we have anything? Can we cut to somebody? What's going on? <laughs> He's great. Anyway, gays are making out in front of the stone wall now. Cut that out. That is just put. Oh, uh, the, I two heard... boys kissing on Edith national Windsor. TV. Edith Windsor said she was she wanted to go to Stonewall, so she's probably down there. I love that. Good for her. Go do it, girl. That I just a... watched the Fit Dimension singing Wedding Bell Blues on YouTube. And I was the break. and I was listening to Manhunt from Flashdance. Oh, so you can find it, go on a on a woman hunt story. God, you know, get get yourself a, get hunt. out there a beaver. Yeah, a beaver hunt, Greg. That's right. See, Greg's smart. He called it a beaver hunt. You go on that. You do that. Why do I repeat Good things you say? Trucker Joe, show. you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank. I haven't called in years. Uh, <laughs> what did I do to you? No, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Good to have I you heard, back. I heard the news this morning, and I called my partner who's a flight attendant, and I said, we live in Nevada, so I don't know if this is going to change anything for us. And uh, I said, you know, after six years, maybe we should get married. He said, well... You know, we do need a new coffee maker. <laughs> that, which is the right spirit, Trucker Joe. It really is. That is the spirit in which all of this should be taken. I mean, so are you going to, will you fly somewhere and get married? Probably. Uh, I'm just going to say, you know what, let's just jump on a plane tomorrow and get married today. I think that's what we'll do. Well, let me, not to be chintzy about everything, but how much discount as a flight attendant does he get for both of you? For for him to fly, it's free. For me, it's like $2 in fees. Get, get on it. Truck or Joe, just put, get a new suit and go and put the money you would have spent on the plane, you'd buy a new suit with. Anyway, so go get a cute suit, come to New York, we'll have Pride Weekend, it'll be lovely, you'll get married, you'll go out of your minds with glee and delight, and have a little instant honeymoon, and then you go back to work to pay for it all. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to tell him Frank said we have to do it. Just do it, and, and, and get a good coffee made. You know, the uh -oh, ones with the Frank. little individual ones, it's expensive. 
That's every day. But apparently some people like that, though. K-cups, you know. But it's up to you which one you want to get. You know? Well, I'm the only one that drinks coffee, so I only make one cup at a time anyway. K-cup for you, then. All right, get the, but pick a good one out, because how many years have you been giving presents that you need to get back? Okay. Greg says the new ones are... The new ones are really good. They're very quiet. Get that one. And I want the one that makes... I want the thing that makes the fizzy water. You know, I need that. That's that, my soda stream. I want one of those now, too. I didn't register for that at the time. <laughs> so anyway, if you get two, can I? I'll buy. The, I'll Good give you money God, for this. Frank. thing. All right, we'll talk I'm later. Not. Bye. I just wanted to talk to him. I was going to get me a soda machine. Cat mm -hmm. in Vermont, you're on the Frank show. Hello, darling. I hate to interrupt you, Frank. Thank you. you were no, you're enjoying it. Come on. Yeah, I love it. Go ahead. Hey, um, You know, I'm just so happy, and and I was so afraid this wasn't going to happen. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was afraid my head explode if we didn't get all of our civil rights. So. Very now, happy. Cat, if this is you happy, what a sad sound like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably roughly the same. Uh, um, that's just who I am. <laughs> um, it's it's like Eeyore calling me. I know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Everybody always says, my sister, my mother, and I, Oh, sorry. Did I wake you up? <laughs> no matter what time of the day or night it is. So. Well, don't don't ever admit that they did. You know that's right. The, you know, I'm always like, no, I, I've been awake for hours. Yeah. Frank's but, used to that lot. Like, I get that one a lot. Yeah. I said, did um, I wake you? No, no. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I also yeah. wanted to mention that uh, my wife and I we we got a civil union here in Vermont in the year 2000. So we've been waiting a long time not to have to fill out double taxes. I think that's great. Anyway, well, I, I, so you, do you have to go? Now you can go just across the border and get married? Uh, no. We, yeah, it's legal in Vermont. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, oh, it's legal in uh, Vermont. Three yeah. years ago, we, uh, we went into uh, our little uh, uh, courthouse and said we'd like to upgrade marriage. Oh, great. That's, oh, I, <laughs> you could trade in your civil union I, for a marriage. I, and they said no, you didn't have to trade it in, but you did have to pay another 50 bucks. Oh, but of course. Well, they're not dumb. They know yeah. that. I'm telling you. But you, but you get to register again, Kat. I'm telling uh, you. Just do it. No, that... We got like we've been together twenty years, so really we don't need any more crap. Just a few. Th do you have a Do you have a soda maker? No, probably right. You know, I, no, I don't drink soda. Oh, I only geez. drink water. Anyway, and but we we do have a K cup thing that um, we got for Christmas from oh, our this, nephew. All right, that's good. All right, so you can see, maybe and refills. Honestly, you are not doing <laughs> us any good by making marriage all about presents. I'm just telling the truth, Dora. We'll just make I'm... sure everybody drinks uh, Green Mountain coffee. Because oh, yeah, there's really that good too. For Vermont to drink Green Mountain. coffee. Oh, we have it here. I'll go get myself one. We, that's what we have in our in one, one of the eight thousand kinds of coffee we have here. But that's that's a good. Uh, we all love that. So anyway, Kat, it's always good to hear from you, and I'm glad to hear you so chipper and cheerful. It's it's really good. I always feel like when people say, "Did I wake you?" I said, "No, let me just take off my CPAP." You know, it's just I'm not asleep. You know, it's fine. You know, you're almost always asleep. Always, uh, uh, Ash I Christian, the filmmaker, uh, uh, posted on Facebook a photograph from inside Stonewall. Not many people there, but he said, inside Stonewall, you know it's a good day when there's free donuts. Free donuts at Stonewall, Frank. <laughs> oh, my God. Frank! Frank, get back here! Oh, my God. Somebody stop the elevator. When we return to the Frank Show, we'll have more fun here on Sirius XM Outcube. Are you following us? Yeah. Okay, we don't need to do that. Uh, what is your name? George. Zimmerman. An event that sparked controversy across the country. <laughs> Not any crimes? No! Yes, that made headlines. With murder in the second degree? And now, a jury of six women will decide if he was acting in self-defense when he fatally shot Trayvon Martin. We're going to see a lot of evidence come out of this trial. Through every dramatic courtroom moment. Who was the aggressor in the conflict? The trial of George Zimmerman. All this week on HLN, Sirius XM 116. Or listen on the Sirius XM app. If you want to work until you drop, reduce your standard of living in retirement or lose more of your hard-earned money in the stock market then just ignore me. But if you'd like to generate a steady, predictable income, I'm talking real wealth and financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. A free report is now available that reveals the money-making secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. This report reveals how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and wealth-building power without risking your hard-earned money in the Wall Street casino. How you can bypass banks and credit cards and become your own source of financing. And how to get the money you need when you need it, simply by asking for it. 
This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. And it beats the pants off any IRA or 401k. To learn more about this method and to get your free special report, visit bankonyourself.com right now. That's bankonyourself.com. www.bankonyourself.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Ryan. As a pro quarterback, I'm always on the lookout for the big play. That's why I joined the team at Liquid Nutrition, a unique new provider of healthy food for people on the go. In fact, we're expanding with franchising opportunities for you right now. With functional beverages being one of the fastest growing franchise categories, our hybrid juice bar and supplement store is a recipe for success. Catch this amazing chance today at liquidnutrition.com. For more details, visit liquidnutrition.com. Because sequins are always correct. That's the second biggest zipper I ever saw. It's the backless glamour of the Frank DeCaro Show. Live from New York and Los Angeles. No telling what's liable to come out of that thing. Let's see, that's what they say. You never know what's going to come out of that thing. So, Doria, Michael Jackson is back in the news via Liberace's former lover, Scott Thorson. How is that for the circuitous kind of way to, to do that? So anyway, Scott Thorson, who was, of course, played by Matt Damon in the TV movie uh, about, uh, about Liberace, uh, has revealed uh, about a lot about his fling with his best friend, Michael Jackson, in a TV interview. And so he told Access Hollywood it was a loving relationship. He was my best friend back then because I was going through a lot of trauma with Liberace. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. It's like, what are you, what's going on in your life? Oh, I'm going through a lot of trauma with Liberace. And he Damn said, Liberace. he also knew I was on drugs. He was very against drugs back then. And so he was introduced, according to, this is his claim, he's, uh, Scott Thorson says he was introduced to Michael Jackson by Liberace in 1977. And then he romanced Michael Jackson for several years. But they said uh, that uh, the truth never came out because he refused to take a lie detector test. And he said, I passed two lie detector tests, and they offered Michael a lie detector test. Michael refused, and then, of course, the Jackson family denied it. So, I don't know. It's just, it's disconcerting, actually, Doria. It's like, well, who did you date? Well, Liberace and Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Be real. I mean, how good is your sphincter? You know what I mean? It's like, this one. <laughs> it's like, or, or your winkle, you know? How good is your winkle that those two fellows had to have it, you know? That's a little strange to me, you know. It's, it's just weird. It's like how you you could understand if it was someone who was like a major porn star, you know. You would wouldn't you get it a little more, you know? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you be a little? Wouldn't you be a little? I find that a weird thing, Doria. I think that's really a strange thing. I think they are a per, would have been a perfect couple. So, Scott Thorson and Michael Jackson. Yes. Well, I guess if Scott Thorson got got uh, plastic surgery, Scott it looked has more a thing like for Liberace. people who enjoy plastic surgery. Yeah. That must be a real turn on for him. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. That. I like people who, who deal there's, with. There's I like people who like every their thought, face. Apparently, I think if you like your own damn face, that's kind of a good thing. You know. Well, that's you your should. thing, Frank. I do. I like my face. I say. I some. I, then I say sometimes there's so much of it too. You know, it's like. That. Well, that's a. I say, I say well, that that's a whole lot of face. Jocelyn Wildenstein has no trouble finding men who appreciate her feline qualities. That's Frank. true, and you do, and if you can pick her out of a crowd, you know, I sometimes I was just like when people are just normal looking and attractive, and you you're like, well, I don't know which one's which, you know. But when they look like Jocelyn, like trying to find your car in the parking lot. It's true. Or something. It's true. Exactly. But when it's when it's. Uh, um, so when you're at a party, it, it, you think some people would have trouble finding their significant others in in a crowd because they they you don't do. have, if you have an, strikingly if you, unusual looks. If you have a truly, if you have an attractive husband or boyfriend, and I do, I'm very lucky with that. It is very hard to pick them out of a uh, uh, to pick them out of a, a lineup. You know, it's just because there are so many attractive, good-looking people in the world. Frank, well, if they're not, if they don't have a hump, you know, in. if they don't, they blend it. If you don't have like a hump or you don't have so much hair that when you you could peel a banana with your feet, you know, I mean, I just I'm I more distinctive looking. You know, it's just you could you know what I look like the first time you see me. You say the. You just and and you spherical, spherical. You say go. It's go in there and look. If somebody says go in the room. How will I know it's him? Look for, uh, look for Uncle Fester. Bang! You got me. Okay. You know somebody could go go in look. For, you know. 
And you say, if we tell people, say, how to find Dory, say, look for Janine Garofalo, but cleaner. Okay, that's the thing, you know. <laughs> it's like, that's what I say. Look for Janine Garofalo, but a little cleaner. Less tattoos. Just go in there, and it will be fine. Yeah, I don't think you should, uh, but I don't think you should ever change change your face uh, to, to uh, you know, I don't think that's good. I'm scared of that. Enrique, you're on the Frank Show. Frank. Hi, doll face. I love your face, your fatness, and your furriness. You're like sweet. Will you? And you? Do you want to? And you? How many years have you wanted to sit on my face? How many years has it been? Say again. How many years have you wanted to sit on my face? How many years? Oh, however many times you want me to. That, no, I said how many years have you wanted? So ever since the beginning, you've been calling for years. I, 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 I've been listening to you since about 2008. So thank you. Since 2008, you've what? That's a long time to want to sit on my face, and I appreciate it. I would still lick you clean. Thank you. Oh, oh, my God. There we go. Thanks, Enrique. Get that number down. I may need a date. Maybe I'll have to see after things I said to Jim. Alan, Tennessee, you're on the Frank Show. Well, I had a Frank and Doria revelation that I had to share with you if you have a moment. Sure. I've tried to, I've tried to figure out why do I spend... Three dollar and eighty cents a gallon gas to drive the long way everywhere I go, just so I can listen to this show longer. When I can't afford that gas, but I do it anyway, and I figured it out. It's because y'all are the perfect combination, and I finally figured out what it is. You're a Gatlin gun, Frank. You shoot out a joke a second, and Doria is like a sharpshooter. She's I'm a waiting sniper. For that perfect moment, and she's a sniper, absolutely. And the combination between the two, I'm telling you, I almost had to pull over when she mentioned donuts, and you did the whoosh sound. <laughs> no, she did that too. She, she even did that. She was, she's a, uh, just does everything now. I don't even, I just have to show up and pretend to breathe, you know. And when she hollered, stop the elevator, I was, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. So yeah, she's I, funny. I'm lucky. I, I'm very, very well, lucky. I like that. The Gatling are. gun and the sniper of comedy, frankly. Absolutely. That's us. What a perfect combination. Thank so you. I, I thank you, and I'm going to send someone this gas bill. But I don't okay, yeah, no. I'm in for three 40 bucks a gallon. 40 cents. 380, he said. Oh, three, yeah. three. Please. That's like if I, if I pay cash only at, at a really cheap gas station, I can maybe find 380. In California. Yeah, but when you get out of your car, you're in Los Angeles. When I get out of mine, I'm still in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I, a beautiful state. It is. So thanks a lot for your call. It's very sweet to hear from you. So I'm a Gatling gun, and you're a, a, a sharpshooter. I'm an all-you-can-eat buffet, and you're the perfect amuse bouche I think. Let's go with food. Anyway, Alex, I'm hungry. Mike in Florida, you're on the Frank Show. Hey, Frank. Hey, Doria. Hey. I, uh, uh, I got married back in... Uh, Four four nineteen because my uh, my uh, anniversary. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. My mm -hmm. anniversary is four twenty. We've together for six years. Cool. And, and uh, we're having a ceremony the weekend after July fourth. Um, just so you know, I'm registered at Creighton Merrill, Target, and uh, Williams and Sonoma. You can look us up. <gasps> good for you. Oh, I'm excited. The good good choices. Really oh, good okay. choices. So we had the little party up in, uh, up in, we stayed in New York City for a week, and we went down to Maryland to get um, married instead of getting it in New York City because we didn't have the right paperwork. And then we're, so we're having our ceremony again a couple months later. So, of course, it's all about the presents. Thank you. Anyway, just a gold star for you, and congratulations. I'm very excited for you, and big honk. And six years you said you've been together? Yeah, six six years. He's he's got no family. Okay, so. it it doesn't get you one more year, and then it doesn't get worse. Trust me. Okay, so stick with it. You'll love it. Okay, after seven years, like okay, that's the way it goes. All right, take care of yourself, doll. Trucker Jack, you're on the Frank Show. Hey Frank. Hey Doria. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but during the commercial, I went over to Andrea Mitchell on MSNBC, and they were saying that Doma is actually it's not struck down. It's only it's unconstitutional in the states that recognize, uh, you know, that gay marriage is legal. So then, if a state like North Carolina has those laws on the book that it's, it's you know, uh, they have their, uh, you know, discrimination against uh, ma uh, marriage equality, that the federal government will not honor the uh, like you can't get the benefits in a state that doesn't have gay marriage in it. If I heard her correctly, and it's uh, they well, were talking about. 
It's funny you should mention that because uh, uh, Jorge sent me an email because uh, he looked up uh, this specific question when he went back to his desk after being on our show. And he said, per Lambda Legal's cheat sheet, DOMA ruled unconstitutional doesn't resolve whether married uh, gay couples who live in states that don't recognize their marriage may experience a period of uncertainty as to which federal benefits they can receive. So what I see here is that uh, further court battles that will go up to the Supreme Court saying, well, wait, why should you know I get federal rights in this state but not in that state? That That is coming. That is looming. Uh, and and that's, it seems that that would be good. I mean, it's a it's it doesn't the, it, it, they didn't rule on that and and determine that it, it, it's left unresolved. And so, so yet again, the fight continues addressed. is what. Yes. Yeah, that's so that's really the the uh, takeaway from that. Tracker Jack, thank you very much for your call. Yes, Terry thanks in, for bringing that up. Yeah, Tracker Jack. Terry in California, you're on the Frank Show. Hey, that's the Las Vegas. Hey, Frank, Dorian, maybe one of the listeners would be able to answer this weird question. When a straight couple gets married, the woman can take the husband's last name. Now, if two guys get married, can my lover take my last name because he really wants it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah some you, people do that, and, and and I believe the man could take the woman's last name. It's just that they tend to. Yeah, I think, any, I think you can. And you can also just, you can, tell, you can you know, petition to have your name changed and just, you know, and just do it. You know, I don't think that even ha has anything to do with with this, does it, Dory? I mean, couldn't you always, if I wanted to be Frank Biddle, couldn't I have done that? Well, that would be your brother. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> There's already a Frank Biddle. There already Biddle. is a Frank Biddle. You can't have, sorry, we've already got one of those. Anyway, yes. but Terry, yeah, I think that that's true. But obviously, we'll, we'll uh, be looking into all this, and we'll all, we'll all be looking into all this. But uh, thanks a lot for your call. John in Illinois, you're on The Frank Show. Hi, Frank. How are you today? I'm so better than yesterday. Go ahead. Absolutely. Um, no, I was just listening to the conversations about benefits. And the great thing for my husband and I, we've been together 14 years, married in Iowa, uh, I'm going to say a few years ago. Uh, I now will, he works for a major national bank. And so what the, they always said, well, don't want prevent it. We don't have to honor the marriage certificate. Now they had sent out a thing saying now that if don't get knocked down, then we will honor the marriage. So. Now I will inherit, if he should pass away, God forbid, uh, I'll inherit uh, the pension that we've both been contributing towards because everything has been shared and joined. Um, and so that's just the happiness of our family. Well, I'm very, very glad to hear that, and congratulations on that. And and uh, and thanks for being out and, and, and fighting the good fight and, and keep on keeping on. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Trucker Dan, you're on the Frank Show. Hey, guys. Um, the Thelma is gone now. Me and my boyfriend is going to let Reverend Romaine Patterson marry us. Do oh. that's very sweet. Anyway, how much? How much are you charging? I'll get certified. I'll do it for five dollars less. Um, actually, <laughs> we're going to do it, and then we're going to have the ceremony on next year's DNR first. I love that. Oh, that'll be great. I'm just teasing. Well, that'll be terrific. And getting married by I Romaine. Don't want you to marry them, friend. Be a funny ceremony. It'd be good. I'll. I'm, Goof around and making uh, it could be good. Yeah, they want you to goof around they do for with their, their wedding. wedding. Oh, everybody Frank. does. It'll be fun. Frank and Columbus, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank and Doria. Listen, hey. I, I, I'm I'm uh, repeating your one of your previous callers that I've been with the government for 27 years, and my social security would go to nobody if I would die, but it would be nice. You can adopt uh, me. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm saying I would just get married with my best friend. He lives in South Beach, you know, even though I'm in Columbus. But we're, we get along so well. I would, hey, let him get the money. You know, so, so well, I, mean, I mean, you know, now we're getting into treating marriage like it's it's meaningless. Know, and then know, we do really want to be careful friend. of that. I think you're yeah. secretly admitting that you have feelings for your bestie. I think you should look into this. I talked to the therapist about this. You may, in fact, have some lovey dovey feeling. It could be. I just, I think. I think we may have just heard a very backhanded marriage proposal, Doria, is really what I heard from Frank. Frank's a little commitment phobic, I think. But, well, let me ask. Frank, Frank a little commitment phobic? Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A little commitment phobic. You know why he's commitment phobic? You know how I know? He hung up on me like that. Kyle in Illinois, you're on the Frank Show. 
Hi, Frank. Hi, Doria. Hi. Uh, hey, one of your other callers called in and asked about the name change when they get married. Yes, what do you know? Uh, I got married to my partner last year in New York, and they were really good about it. They asked us, you know, what we wanted to do. I ended up just hyphenating and taking his name. But, I mean, so they do ask you, and the option's out there. I love that. So what? So well, I don't want to get you give your full name, but is, is it a mouthful? I mean, do you do you uh, are you do people call you by uh, your both names now? Yeah. yeah. Good. I love that. I, uh, uh, I'm I'm Colucci De Caro or De Caro Colucci. It was just it's too many vowels. It was really it was that too is. it was too much. It just sounded like oh I couldn't possibly eat all that. Is what it sounded. Like. <laughs> what is it? Colucci De Caro. De Caro Colucci. Yeah, it's just, it's it's too much for me. So anyway, it but thanks. Very and, prestigious though. That, oh yeah, welcome to De Caro Colucci. I'll I'll take your. I'll be back in a minute to take your order. All right, so Kyle, take care. Gene in Pennsylvania, you're on the Frank Show. Hey, hi. Um, as far as like people who live in states where marriage equality is not legal yet, it's my understanding that until another lawsuit comes um, under the 14th Amendment, which is the full faith and credit clause, that's not going to happen. Like, for instance, I have two first cousins who had to go to Ohio to get married because in Pennsylvania they're not allowed to. But Pennsylvania recognizes that marriage under the full faith and credit, saying that what's legal in one state is illegal everywhere else. But um, until... That's resolved, saying that if gay marriage is legal in one state, every other state has to recognize that state's ability to say that you are married. So that'll exactly. be exactly that'll so be the next. Somebody's going to bring that, so. uh, and 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 I don't want a bunch of crazy queens lining up to go sue to be the one who gets to go to the Supreme Court. Make sure you're the right case. Yeah, it's Doria Biddle says. Dot the I's, cross the T's, and and then. Take us to victory. Yeah, let's do it. Tom in San Francisco, you're on the Frank Show. Hey there. Hey. So uh, apparently on the benefits, it depends on the uh, part of the government. So, like, not much of the government care about where you live. So it depends if marriage right now is legal where you live. And, like, the Department of Defense cares about where you were married. So that so it kind of depends right now. We don't know which benefits we'll get because we have to figure out, you know, which which rule do they follow. Okay, so that'll be it. so. You're you're saying it's they haven't figured out whether it's where you are married or where you live. Did I understand well, you correctly? Yeah, and apparently right now some departments say it's where you were married and some say it's where you live. So, you know, unless Obama decides to make some kind of rule that says it's all one or all the other, who knows? All right, so it's so some serious irony out to do. Yep. That's the takeaway. All right. Tom, thank you so very, very much uh, for your call. appreciate hearing from you. And we're taking your calls, of course, at 866-305-6887. We certainly can talk about uh, our usual uh, subject matter here on the show. But it seems like on a day like this, you uh, should and, and would want to be heard. And so it would be great to hear from you at 866-305-6887. And speaking of hearing things, Friday, you can hear at 9 a.m., OutQ News reports six stories in six months. Uh, Jorge Olivares is going to be doing that, and it'll be a live show looking at uh, the the biggest stories of the year. So definitely uh, give a listen to that. It's going to be uh, something you can join the conversation in Friday, 9 a.m. here on Sirius XM OutQ. At 10 a.m. after that, uh, the Out Performer, Tony Award winner Levi Christ, is going to be in concert here on OutQ, so that'll be a fun thing. Uh, also in the morning, Jolt Slot. That'll be at a 10 a.m. on Friday. And then on Super Pride Sunday, as they call it, this coming Sunday, at noon, or beginning at noon, there'll be a six-hour live broadcast presided over by OutQ's own Larry Flick. And uh, you will not only hear groovy-ass music, but also you will hear from the speakers at this year's New York City Pride Rally. That begins at noon on Sunday, so that should uh, really be quite uh, groovy, so you want to listen to that. So, Doria, tonight, this is perfect timing, I, I think. We're going, every year we go to uh, the Pride uh, barbecue that they have at Gracie Mansion. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so we're going to go. I think tonight will be an extra groovy one, provided it doesn't rain. So uh, I think it uh, it, uh, c it could be uh, you know it could be very fun. Are you going to nice bring a there. big gulp? I'm be no, I don't. You know, I don't do big gulps anymore. I just, I just drink, drink a water. Or a well, they have beer, so I have a beer. Because you know, because I do now that now that I don't drink diet You've soda. You've given up diet soda and become an alcoholic. I've tried. I really, you know, because I um. Uh, you said you were hungover this morning. No, I said I sounded you? like I didn't say I was hungover. I said oh. I sound. I said oh. I, I was like when you when you're hungover. Yeah. 
No, I was just kind of having that that my and my energy level was was different, and I said that the that you the, felt like you were. I felt like I was. Right. Yes, it was very. Well, I was so, almost proud of you, Frank. I, thank you. Yeah, no, I almost, it could be tomorrow. But now I'm not proud. Of you. No, I was just home. I was quietly home last night eating. After it, I had had, I went for my my sonogram. I'll tell you about that later on. Anyway, uh, Dan and I, we are on the Frank Show. Hi, how are you, Frank? I'm go I'm good today. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I'm just I just have to say I'm just so excited. I I woke up and got a call from a friend stating that. I now have 1,100 more rights. Me and my partner have been together for 18 years. We had a holy union, which we all know that's not legal. We were married uh, three years ago, and today I have federal rights that acknowledge my, my marriage. My partner that I've been with for 18 years have loved my family. The federal government today has acknowledged. And I'm sorry, it's very emotional. But I and you, feel you, like, how how do you how do you feel things are going in Iowa? Because I know that they were that people were trying to change that uh, in Iowa. But do you do you feel safe that it's going to stay a gay marriage state? I oh absolutely I absolutely do. Um, Excellent. I, I don't think there's going to be no problem with that. But I'm just I just want to thank everybody who has has worked toward this and and i feel we've accomplished so much today today is the day i hear you and it's and as you said yes it is very much yeah i was like well what are you doing at i'm weeping there's okay dan take care ben in colorado you're on the frank show we're talking about obviously the uh, the scotus decision as we'll be doing all day go ahead uh, hi frank um i just wanted to say that um i got married in uh, des moines iowa back on april 8th and um my congratulations and i've been together i'm sorry congratulations oh thank you so much um yeah we've been together for about seven and a half years before we got married i'm 33 now and he's 36 but as far as the name change process goes you print and sign in uh in uh iowa when you get married and your name changes that simple and what i did is i took my uh, maternal grandfather's name, and um, uh, my husband took the last name as well. He hyphenated his. I, and you can pick anything? So it's simple. Right. Anything you want, really. Oh, my um, God. I could have been Phyllis Harkin Luke Burr uh, Hickenbottom. I could have. Oh, I didn't even know. I would have done it, Ben, if I'd, if I'd known. Thank you so much for your Phyllis Harkin Luke Burr Hickenbottom. I think I'd have been good for that. Mark in New Mexico, you're on the Frank Show. Marky Mark. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. What's up? Oh, my God. I'm heading up to Utah, and then I'm going to Washington to marry my husband. Yay. <laughs> Don't forget to register. All right, take care, sweetie. Johnny. Congratulations. And, thank you. That's wonderful. Johnny. Hi. How are you, doll? What's up? Um, so what do 100% of divorces have in common? What? Marriage. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, there's, there is that. Anyway, but let's hope it doesn't come to that for a lot of us. I hope we keep it. Yeah. I still want to get married, though. Yeah. And, well, I want to stay married is really what I want to do. I will do. say this. So, what, Greggy Wags? You're married to what? Uh, listen, I'm married as well. And we recognize I'm, I'm your marriage here. on the Thank show. Thank you. And I recognize yours because you. I planned your marriage. Okay? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm it was happy an, for it everybody. It was an arranged listen, marriage. I'm was, happy yeah. for everybody. I want everybody to go out and get married. But get married for the right reason. Don't just go out to get married because you can get married now. Make sure you're getting married because you want to be married for the rest of your life. Okay, All Dad. Right? I'm just saying no, this. No, it's good advice. It's, it's really good advice. Everybody's excited, including myself, but make sure you're getting married for the right reason now, now that you can, okay? And the right reason is registering it's for presents. It's not cheap to break up right. anymore. No, it's, it's not, not cheap. No, it's true. Frank, no. Don't get married for presents because your ex will take half of your presents. True. Ask Suzanne Westenhofer. Yeah. It's oh, not yeah. cheap that's to get a divorce. That's what they say. Norman, Indiana, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank. I just wanted to say that now when they take about 28% of my check in taxes, I know that maybe it's not going to hurt quite as bad since I've got a few more rights. I hear you. Now that's and that's a very very good point. It's like oh yeah. It's like oh good. We're part of the the equation. Then you're you're recognizing it. So let's uh, go with that. Let's go to Clinton, Alabama. You're on the Frank Show. 
Hey, Frank, I'm going to tell you, Alabama is going to be the backwood state to be the last state to do anything, but that does not mean we do not need to stop supporting as a gay man and a person who loves my husband and from Alabama. You know what? We're going to do what we have to do in this great state of the South to keep going. I hear you. You know, it's funny. People are the flipping things. Oh, you should move, move to New York, move to Massachusetts. You know what? When you're from a place, you're from a place. And, and you know, and it's, it's really is like, you know, you want to tell you, you the place that you come from. is like, you got to get this together. I'm one of you. I'm just as much one of you as you're one of, of the state. You know, so. Uh, also, it, you guys are on the front lines. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at pictures uh, recently of, of a pride demonstration in, right. I think it, was in, it was in a small town and right. you know there were like seven people standing around with signs and I was like those guys have so much more guts than, than the and, people who and, will be in New York City this weekend and the people who were in West Hollywood a couple of weeks ago you know because we're out and and surrounded by uh, hundreds of thousands and millions of others like us but and I'm, you guys I'm fortunate I have an awesome family who supports me and my husband who are great and but you know what? We are from the South. We're going to be from the South, and we may be forever to do anything right. But you know what? I'm supporting the people from New York to California and all the way in between. And good. And, I, and you know what? It's a good time for us to be reminded we need to support you right back, okay? Because what right. Dory was saying, it's true. Because it's like, it's, it is harder. You know, it's like, I, and that doesn't take away from, from, anyone going to pride in anywhere this weekend but the, exactly. the hard part you know me being out in my hometown 18 miles from here is a lot harder than me being out a mile from here you know in chelsea it is exactly. you know it's a very different experience mm -hmm. and, keep and up the great work and i appreciate too. everything that y'all do thanks a lot and big honk and love to you too appreciate it trucker ken you're on the frank show hey baby frank's Hi. giving out bad marriage advice See, you got to get married three times, just like the straight people. It's marriage equality. The first time you marry for love, the second time you marry for money, and the third time you marry because you're too damn old and uh, <laughs> you got to settle for somebody. It's don't think you said that it. is a horrible joke. At that man. point, you get. I think you go for the. You find a cute twenty-three-year-old and say, "I'm going to share everything. You can just have everything." And then you make them do unspeakable things to you in your old age. That's what I think. Oh no! What? Uh oh! Look out for that tomato, trucker can. It's rotten. All right, bye, sweetie. Gus in Pennsylvania, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Frank. Thanks for taking my call today. Uh, listen, I just want to stress, you know, my partner and I, we tend to go to Europe frequently, and for the first time in a long time, we can actually walk with our heads a little higher and a little prouder this time. You know, it's kind of saddening when you're abroad and you see people from other countries wearing wedding rings, gay couples, whether it's South Africa, the Netherlands, or Spain, and now France. And for the first time, the country that claims itself to be the freest country in the world um, has made a step to, in the right direction. So we can walk, you know, we can walk with our heads a little higher right now and not feel like absolute secondary citizens. I hear you. I, I think it's a day, it's a day for all of us to be proud. Definitely, Gus. Thank you so much for your call. When we return to the. <laughs> Greg, you really are. You're really. Like, how do, you can't talk about getting married more than what the hell? I give I'm Italian. I know, I'm know. Roman Catholic. You get married once, and that's. Oh, uh, that's. Well. It's, uh, get, I'm telling you. I'm the, I'm, hap I'm happy for everybody. Take it very. Uh, take take it seriously. marriage very seriously because I've seen people. It's it's cost people a lot of money and destroyed a lot I of families when it wasn't long taken as we, seriously. I think I see. I'm of the as long as you both shall love. Or are too tired to leave. I think that's really the thing. I think if you're too I'm just, oh, too tired to leave. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you don't want to. Just don't leave. It's like no. It's because only. Let's be honest. It's only gonna. If you're if you're sitting there for most people, for a lot of people, if they're if they're if they're saying, oh the thrill is gone. Oh, it's it's only gonna get that way with somebody else. It's like just yeah, make it work. Just hang out, have a good time. You know, they look over. It's look. I love you. Get out. Get off me. You know. That's, <laughs> just, be realistic. You're like, I love you from over there. Sit on your own side. That's because you have to love your person. I do. I love my husband. I do, Doria. I feel bad for him. I do. Sometimes even I say, free Jim Colucci, you know. But sometimes I say, free me, you know. I was like, free me too, you know. Oh, yeah, it's true. The show isn't free. Greg just made a very good point. He said, but this show is not free, so we have to pay the bills. We'll do that here on Sirius XM. You see, he knows the, the truth of the matter here. Serious XMLQ 109. It starts, starts here. The Jolt with Larry Flick. Superstars. Music. Words of wisdom. Hey, it's Larry Flick. On Thursday's edition of The Jolt, we're going to be assessing life following the Supreme Court ruling on same-sex marriage. 
Plus. We're going to bring some fun to your morning as we're joined by our good friend Tabitha Coffee. It's going to be a big morning, so join us. The Jolt with Larry Flick. Weekdays, 7 a.m. East, 4 West. Wow, look at that truck. I'm going to own one someday. If you've ever thought that to yourself, then make a call to John Christner Trucking now and own it. Recognized as one of the top lease programs in the industry, there's no cash down, and it's only $1 to experience actual ownership. Fuel surcharge, reefer fuel, it's all paid at JCT. Don't just rent a truck, own it. Call John Christner today at 866-385-2332. 866-385-2332. Or visit johnchristner.com. Team and owner operators always welcome. Listen for that, and one of the six stories, of course, will be uh, what's what happened today with uh, SCOTUS. So we will listen to that, and we're very excited about that. And Jorge, Thank thanks for being uh, being part of our show, and and always All for uh, making Anytime it happen at the top want. of the hour. Mate, you, if it weren't for you, none of us could peek. Just remember that. Bye-bye, really <laughs> Jorge. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much. Right. Who ordered the creme brulee? Bye-bye. question Now back to the high-calorie fun of the Frank DeCaro Show. Soria, this was very sweet of you to send this to me. There's no malicious intention for the rugby player who grabbed his opponent's balls. The only thing is, it's hard to sort of... They didn't, I need them to zero in on it, or I need special effects, okay? I need, you can't just say, oh, with a 10 second mark, oh, that you can look from, gra I still can't find him grabbing balls, Troy. Where's, where's he the ball grab? exactly. He really, like, he has his arm between his legs, and he's got him. Well, we've all been there. Hold. It's a man skirt. It's a, oh, it's a man, it's, it's the it's man, man skirt. That's a wrestling maneuver. Where you put where you like grab the guy's balls and pull on them. Looks like Saturday night, if you ask me. I think. Good for him. Anyway, but they know how to have fun in South Africa when Samoa is over for a visit. Troy, I'll do. <laughs> Who's coming over? Samoa. I'm like, what do you want to grab his balls? What do you think I'm going to do? That's a fun thing. So uh, anyway, what the hell else uh, is going on that we can chat about, Troy? Oh, I went for my sonogram. Okay. And I and it was and, a, and and so I went you no know, so I said at the end of the the test you know the the woman said I said to her I said is it a boy or a girl, and she and she was deaf and she went twin I was like even this fucking Hi. bitch okay she can fucking not hear me okay but that she can get okay twins anyway thanks for nothing it's everyone's a comedian She's right. right. I know it's kind of good. It's a good I've been eating for three, so I was glad to to hear about that. But it did strike me very funny. I was like, even this one's got to get at me. Yeah, get out. Did I do a Marley Matlin impression for her? No. Okay, I was behaved myself. Did she? Twins. Thanks, lady. Appreciate it. No, she was lovely. I'm just teasing. She was very, very lovely. Might have been family, too, Dora. I'm not sure. Might have been. I didn't ask. So, but she, uh, she, was, she was lovely. And they, do, they just poke around. They get you, you know, and she was good. She was gl they glop you all up, and then they decide whether you're uh, going to have twins or not. Let's go to the phones. 866-305-6887. I don't want to talk about anything except, well, honestly, except uh, the Supreme gay, Court. Gay, 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 marriage, marriage, marriage. True, marriage, marriage, marriage. David and Canada are on The Frank Show. Hey, Frank and Doria. It's always great to hear you. Um, listen, uh, ever since I was a young gay man, I've always wanted to marry an American man. I just find them so darn sexy. So I want to know now, can I marry an American and become an American citizen? Uh, if you're uh, apparently, and I, I read this on Twitter somewhere, I wish I could remember who posted it, but uh, somebody who was being uh, kicked out of the country in as a, 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 a international marriage situation that uh, has been put on hold, and I I don't remember where I saw it. So. Uh, yeah, I think that that is looming. If you are married, uh, that's a, a federal issue, and uh, if you are in a state that legalizes, uh, that legally recognizes gay marriage, then you should be able to have an international marriage and have your spouse become a. Do you citizen. have anyone in mind, or do you just just any American will do? You know, do you want Liza? I could see what I can do. I mean, do you want a celebrity? Do you want? And because well, they didn't rule across the line that uh, that you know. Now marriage, uh, same-sex marriage is legal in all 50 states. They didn't make a big statement like that. There, there are still these little battles to be fought, and and I think that they're all heading this way. But in some states, yes. David, I hope you go on that manhunt, David. I hope you find in one. In certain states. In certain states. Just all not right, in 12, 13 states. states. Yeah, you, have, you have 13 states to pick from. Find one, okay? You're nice states. They're lovely. 
So uh, yeah, you have sucks. a nice time and uh, and a good go. So. Go come to New York. Why are you saying don't come to New York? It's too expensive. I know, but I'm go get married. Here. Go get married in the Midwest where you said. There's upstate New York. There's upstate New York. Yeah, but it's still it's, expensive. It's lovely up there. It's lovely. It's lovely, but it's still double the Midwest. I guess. I don't, well, you could go to Save Iowa. Save money on Iowa. It depends on what kind of Lots hotel of you're looking move for. To Iowa. Now, Iowa's beautiful, too, now. I know. I'm going to move to Iowa. I could buy a mansion for like 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm telling you, then. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blow-up mansion. No. Still, it's just, it's, no, but you could throw the sickest wedding out in Iowa, if you really think about it, because the because the cost is less than something that would happen in New York. What you pay in New York, you could like rent that. You could throw like a five million acre bash with the best thing ever. You can't even throw an ice cream social in New York anymore. I know. It's just crazy. It's just it's oh, kooky, kooky prices. But anyway, but that's uh, that's the way it goes. So anyway, so so Dorian, so my sonogram. So it's I don't know the sex of the baby. I really don't. Uh, so you know, what I saw today that was funny. I was I was poking my head in over at uh, MTM Weekly Radio across the hall. I was looking through the window and. You know, and uh, there was a story up on, you know, the birth weight of Northwest has been revealed. Who cares? It's like, what the hell do I care about? I don't even, you know, it's just. Now, my babies. <laughs> my How twins. How much did you weigh? You were, you were, you I were was five pounds, sure, I was so five pounds, were, ten ounces. Oh and you've been catching up ever since. Oh, hell yes. I haven't done much. I weighed more than you at one point, and I weighed. I was I, uh, almost eight and a half pounds, I think. You don't even weigh more than me on the moon. You don't weigh more, you know, that's the way it goes. If you were, maybe if you were on the moon, no, it just doesn't matter. No matter where if we If you go. were on the moon and I were on Earth. It might be better, yeah. So. I yeah, weigh. Would... Well, how big were you? 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Oh, you're Holy poor, crap. You're a poor mother's coach. Oh, my God. Were you a natural childbirth or no? Yeah. Because I was a cesarean. So I was good. nicknamed Moose. Because <laughs> I was bigger than all the rest of the babies. My brother was two yeah. feet tall when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Your mother called you twenty-four your... inches. Oh my old. God! And my mother was only five two. That's amazing. More people aren't called Ripper. You know, I mean, they're <laughs> that would be, you know, stretch. You know, <laughs> they must have been like this baby is still coming out. They must have had like you know a a, a chain of doctors and nurses uh, pulling him out. I mean, oh, that's terrible. There's more. This man, so still coming. I'm trying to think of you should have. There should be baby names like like Ripper, Stretch, Turducken probably would work too. Anyway, because yeah, West, those are all good baby names. Baby right. name. Well, if you were pooping out a baby that big, Doria, that's a big Turducken. Okay, that's just. It's, they called you. They called you